What up, y'all? Warner Thai here. And today, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope y'all having a good one. I'm so thankful for y'all because we reached 2,000 subscribers. Holy shit. That's insane. Thank you, y'all, from the bottom of my heart. I got y'all three stories by Junji Ito. This one's called The Sad Tale of the Principal Post. So, you finally finished your new house. Thanks for inviting us over. Oh, it's so nice. I'm really jealous. More sake, anyone? Hmm, where's the man of the house anyways? Funny, he was just here a moment ago. He's probably taking a shit or something. Help. Someone help me. That, that sounds like dad. Dear? Honey, what is it? Who are you? Help! I'm down here. I'm in the crawl space. Help me. Help me. Something happened to Dad in the crawl space. Let's go help him. Man, I would not be helping that motherfucker. I would just go back to eating my Thanksgiving turkey. Dear, where are you? Where have you gotten to? Ah! Bro, what? How would you get stuck there? Man, quit playing around, bro. Your turkey's getting cold. Come on, man. D dear what in the world happened? Ugh, I don't know, bitch. What does it look like what's happening? Looks like I'm being crushed by the post. But, but how? How'd you get under there? The weight of the whole house is on top of you. Ugh, it's a long story. Too bad this is a short story. Ugh, this is terrible. I'll call the carpenter. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, 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 you crazy? The, this looks like the principal post. If you move it just to rescue me, the entire house might fall over. I mean, what a damn shame. A brand new house. Then, what do you say we should do? Ugh. Leave me here. Wh what? I'm not gonna make it. I'll die supporting this household. D Daddy, no. Dear. As his wife, daughter, and friends watched over him, he passed away later that evening. He still remains under the principal post, and no one will ever know how he ended up getting underneath it. The end. I don't want to be uh, rude or anything, but I think this man might have ruined their Thanksgiving dinner. Alright y'all, this one's called Fixed Face by Junji Ito. When I first saw this strange chair, I felt a sudden and overwhelming sense of unease. You got one son? Oh, please take a seat. Doctor, this chair is... this one happened to have a human inside of it, would it? Oh, this is a facility made specifically to capture the features of the low portion of the face. It can provide uh, accurate data for the dentition department by capturing the jawline. But doctor, what is with the two thick metal rods? Uh, it is used to secure your face by placing the rods in your ears. Alright, uh, please sit down. Oh hell no, in my ears? Hell no, nah, y'all. Uh, don't move, okay? Alright, now it's properly secured. I'll start by capturing your lower facial features. Uh, this is so uncomfortable with two metal rods in my ears. It's just like a chair used to interrogate criminals, like Mason and Black Ops. Huh? Oh, it didn't start up. The film just finished. Uh, my apologies. Uh, please wait a little bit longer. I'll be right back. Uh, shit! <laughs> Dr. Otake! Damn it! It's bad news. Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. But not for me. Uh, it's been a while. Why isn't Dr. Otake back yet? I'm completely immobilized right now and my body is saddled with fatigue, and that makes me feel even more uneasy. 
Uh, excuse me? Is anyone out there? This dental facility belongs to Tokyo University and its floor area is majestic. Typically, very few people pass by the examination rooms on the third story. Uh, what to do? Nobody has returned here for a long while. What on earth should I do? Is anyone out there? Anyone, please! Oh my god! I can't remain calm at this rate. Soon, the night came. Did I really have to stay overnight all alone in this hospital? I don't want to be alone. I better not be paying by the hour. What? What's wrong with this hospital? Not a single soul around. I would be saved if anyone would just take a look around in here. No, I need to think calmly. Let's see. Oh yeah, screws. Where are the screws? They must have used screws to set up this machine. I should be able to feel for them. Stretch my arms as far back as possible. Man, where the hell are the screws? She, I gotta get out of here. Gah! The rods are too tight to get out. I, I can't do this. Please, save me. <sighs> it's too agonizing. The pressure of the rods leaves me immobilized. I really want to change the position to rest. I feel so sleepy. Kuwa! This must be a place for them to torment criminals. Damn it! I, I must have been tricked! They tricked me! Those bastards! Let's try to flip above the handle. Oh, girl, I don't think you should be doing that, man. This is just stupid. Kuwa! It hurts! It hurts. Well, girl, you did that to yourself. Like, why are you saying it hurts? You know what? This bitch is stupid. God, it's piercing into my ears. It hurts so bad. I can't take it anymore. I can't force my head out from the bottom. Gua, e ya. Girl, just be patient. Oh my gosh. Mm mm. That's it. It happened a few years back. Hmm. Even if you say so, I wonder, how did she set herself free? Did she realistically force her head out from the bottom? <laughs> how is that possible? Think again, her ears are clamped firmly by two thick triangular metal rods. How is it possible to remove? <laughs> of course, she was rescued by someone the next morning. What? Hmm, so that's how it ended. But you know what though, I have an ear fetish, so let me take a look at your ears. I just want to make sure they're fine. Hey, 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 hold up now, hold up now, wait a minute, stop it. The end. Ain't nothing really spooky happening in this one, huh? Alright, this one's called Anything But A Ghost by Junji Ito. Hmm, was it really a coincidence that I met her? It was on the way home from work one day. Hmm, dark already. No matter the car, sucks to suck to be on a mountain at night. Half expecting a ghost around every corner. Oh, ew, ew, hell, bro. Mind your business, keep driving. Keep driving, mind your business. Somebody here, this time of night, can't be good. Bro, what are you doing? Get get your ass back in your car and drive off. Oh my god. Oh, uh, excuse me. You all right? Uh, he put in his deeper voice, so he wanted to impress her. Um, is everything okay, ma'am? <laughs> ah! A g g g g g g g g ghost. C could it, could it be? Ain't no such thing as ghosts. And I just touched her. You, you seem to be bleeding quite badly. Are you hurt? I'm not taking any chances. I got her in the back and headed for the hospital. Ugh, come on, gotta make it, gotta make it. Doctor, how's her injuries? Oh uh, yes, Um, I actually fell down the stairs a couple weeks ago and uh, I shouldn't be practicing, so I couldn't locate any injuries. What? 
but her face is covered in blood. Oh, uh, I ain't a professional, but it doesn't seem to belong to her. What do you mean? I don't understand it myself. I never actually graduated, and she never told me a thing. It could be in connection with something else. I called the police already. The police arrived soon to take her ass away. They even questioned me about her, but let me go soon after. So yeah, huh, weird night, right? My good deed for the day. Uh, sounds kind of creepy, dear. I knew that if we lived all the way out here in the suburbs, there'd be weirdos. What's it gonna do, Yuna? Some days later. Uh, Shingeru? Uh, Shingeru? There's a young lady here to see you. A very pretty one at that. Who is she? Hmm? Who we've been talking to? Huh? No idea. Uh, hello? And you are? I would be the one you helped on the mountain road the other day. I came to say thank you. Thank you so much. What? what? You're her? Hold up, hold up. My friends and I have been making an independent film out there. We got separated up for a while. That might explain my appearance and general disorientation. I was quite afraid. <laughs> That's it. That's all that was. <laughs> oh man, you never guessed what I was thinking. Her name was Misaki, and on her way out, she gave me her number. Oh shit, she actually did give her a number. <laughs> Shall we meet again? Call me. Shingeru, what's up? Huh? Ugh, nah. It was nothing. I started seeing Masaki in secret after that. Man, bro, you are married, sir. Isn't this lovely? Hey, what do you like about me? A girl like you? Shit. Anyone will fall for you. Alright, well, this man deserves to die, alright? And what do you like about me? Come on, that's only fair. Hmm, well, your ghosts, they follow you, Shingeru. Uh, ghosts? Hold up, what you mean? Like, Boo from Mario? Right, I, <laughs> I can see them. Oh. Okay, so you like me cause, uh, ghosts follow me around? Yes, I like them too. I always have. Do you know why? Uh, no, 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 I don't know why. See, my mother was one. She died giving birth to me. When I came out, she was already a ghost. But she still cared for me. Even after that? She would always come to breastfeed me. Yeah, what the fuck? Ghost milk right from the ghost titty? Hell nah. But hold up though, Junji Ito might be onto something. I owe everything to her. I was nourished, raised on the goodness of the spirit world. And even now, I never feel right without it. Nah. <laughs> nice try. Yeah, me going there. Shingeru, can't you see them? Ghosts, they're all around you. Fuck. What time is it? Fuck, I gotta get home. Misaki. Hey. <laughs> the, the hell? Think you can just waltz in here this late? Where were you? And why was your phone off? I'm asking where you fucked off to while your pregnant wife was home all alone. Uh, work came up, I told you. Uh, who is that? Hey, answer me. Uh, just a friend. That wasn't too nice of you, Shingeru. Leaving a girl to wake up all alone just like that. Uh, sorry bro, I was in a hurry. So, when can I see you again? Yeah, uh, Misaki, about that, um, I think my wife is starting to catch on. Uh, it's for the best. Something about that girl though. All that blood in her face, 
What the fuck was that? But the worst was yet to come. Yuna, I'm home. Dear, she told me everything. I never thought it could end like this. Shingeru, what kind of man does that? No man at all. A rat. Yuna had always been prone to instability and mood swings since the pregnancy. I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill the both of you. It was too much too sudden. And it was all she could take. And then, one day, she took her own life. And our child along with her. Shingeru, you can't be like this. Go home already, Misaki. We're long over. Shingeru, just a little longer. Look how many ghosts are following you now. Ghosts? Following me? Seriously, are you on something, bro? I told you what I liked about you. Your ghosts, they're delicious. And I need them to stay alive. Misaki, have you lost your damn mind? Go on, don't believe me. Up to you. But you better believe you never tasted anything so good. Look, can't you see? There's two more of them now. It's Yuna and your little baby swimming around the room. Ooh, they look so good. <laughs> run, run as fast as you can. <sighs> gotcha. <coughs> oh shit. E no fucking way. E. It can't be. The scream sounds like Yuna. Oh, bro, so now you care about her? Alright. No. Why did I hear Yuna's voice? And what's all that blood? <laughs> From then on. Misaki would stalk me, just to prey upon the ghost by my side. I was then to fall in hard times. I lost my job and the house, just like that. I caught something nasty living on the streets, and so I came to cling on to dear life in the hospital. <sighs> Misaki came to visit again today. I could hear her licking her lips and waiting, waiting for my ghost to appear. The end. Damn, y'all, this story's kind of uh, kind of wild. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Happy Thanksgiving again, everybody. I hope you spend it with uh, your people you love. Hope y'all eat good. All right, y'all. Peace.